In this video, we're changing out this OEM wind blocker on my 2016 MX-5. So everybody, welcome and thanks for watching. Now today we're going to be installing the MX-5 Things acrylic wind blocker on my 2016 MX-5 and we're also going to be illuminating it with their LED kit. So I'm actually really excited and we want to get to work. But first, let's go and watch what's in the box. So guys, so here we have everything laid out. So this is the original wind blocker. So plastic with the holes through it. So if we place it over for one, we can see that the MX-5 things one is a bit bigger now. They have different sizes. You can have it full, you can have it a bit higher. There are loads of different choices. I went with their regular model. It's already a bit larger than the original. It still has this notch so you can reach the soft top easily. And yeah, the holes are gone and I think this will block the wind a bit better, but mostly I want to install this part just for looks and you will see why in just a minute. So this is the wind blocker. So for one, it uses the OEM mounts and then on the sides, I don't know if you guys can see this, you have this little pads with velvet. So there is actually no drilling or anything required to replace this unit. No clamps, no screws, no nothing. And then over here we have the fun part because this is everything you need to illuminate this. So this is acrylic, so it's still protected. And we're going to remove this in a minute, but this is everything we need. So first thing of course is the LED strip that's gonna mount at the bottom. So it's gonna clip on right here. We have the wire with a nice little quick release. Uh, yeah, thingy. And then over here is actually the really nice part because MX-5 thinks every harness you can get from them is plug and play. So you don't need to splice any wires, no need for any soldering or anything. So this harness will actually go in between the rear headlight, the rear tail light harness and there is like this extra cable like tied off from the running lights with a little controller which will work with this remote and then power this LED. So it's really plug and play and it should be easy to install so let's go and install it. So guys so first things first we need to get to the passenger side of the car and move this seat out of the way. That way we will have easy access to this side panel. So we have a little side panel here so you have where your storage areas and then we have this side panel. So this is held on with three tabs. So we have one here, one here and the one on the side. So we need to loosen up these three and then we should be able to get this panel out. one hurt pinky finger later uh, we cut this removed so you got to remove the sill so the sill just so your foot so the sill just pops up and then you have these two clamps you have one of these clamps here and here so this just clamps around it so you need to pull up and away and then here in the middle so right here there's like a little pressure clamp so you can actually pull away from it and then it will like pop out and then you have this piece so now we have access to this. So normally we should be able to route the cable from here. So guys, a bit of a fast forward. I've been really struggling with routing the cable, but I finally got it and I'll show you how. So first of all, you have this cable. So the LED is dangling there at the moment, but the cable needs to go behind your soft top. You can then put your hand behind the headrest and you can easily make it come out here. Now the hard part is getting it from here through, I don't know if you guys can see this, let me try and focus. So the cable came from here and we need to get it 
in there all the way to the trunk on the passenger side so after a lot of trial and error I found the following so I have this like a long rod so this is like from some curtains or some blinds or something that I had laying around and I pushed it like right there as far as it could go not force it just try and gently maneuver its way as far as possible and then I could see it on the other side so what I then did was I took some masking tape and I taped the little connector to the rod and then pulled the rod gently back and then I got the cable in the trunk so now you can see the cable is right here and it's all the way through to the trunk so that's the hardest part done so now it's time for the easiest part so I have the cable and the connector for the LED here and then we have this guy right here so this guy is if you follow it it comes from the harness from the front and then it goes right to here to your tail light so we need to unclip this one because this is where our in-between harness is gonna clip in so you just need to push on the stop thing and then pull up then now over here we have the in-between harness so the little thingy that we just unplugged is gonna go in this top one and then this thingy is going back where the other one was easy as that and now we connect this to the LED and that's all the wiring for this one done so guys so now the cable is run we have the LED right there so if I put the car to turn on its running lights you'll see it's not touching but then we take the remote there it is so it's flickering now we have full on we can adjust the brightness so this is pretty cool so okay that works so if I now turn them so lights are off that's off so it goes with the running lights so now I know I didn't show you guys how I actually removed this part but first I'm gonna clean up the wires a bit so I'm gonna pull as much of this wire to here as I can and then we're gonna zip tie everything in nicely go back and install everything so the first part is this one so this is this left side uh, trunk liner and I'll get this back in just have a whole bunch of these push clips so there's one behind here that's one push clip and then this piece and just pop them back into place so there are four push pin pins on this one so two here two there it's actually super easy to just take out the trunk line on these cars because it's all just push pins so to remove this side piece you have one pin here one pin here and one pin behind here now it is easier if you take this out otherwise you're gonna struggle and then this little piece just pops back in and that is your trunk reassembled so now we're gonna reassemble that front piece 
and then go on and install the wind blocker. So yeah, MX-5, because guys, it's an MX-5. This looks beautiful guys. Now let's get it on the car. Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. It, it looks something like this. So guys, as you can see, this mod looks awesome. It got different modes, you can make it flash, pulsate, whatever. It's really cool. I know it's a bit dark maybe on camera, but I like this red glow. Uh, it really finishes uh, the look of the car with the rear lights and everything. It's just so cool. But yeah, let's, let's put on the lights first. So this is much better. And yes, I jumped to here. But I gotta say this looks awesome on the car and it's easy to install like everything you need to loosen up is just push pins and yeah I got the casualty for you guys so you know what to look out for and the hardest part is just getting the cable to the back and everything else is plug and play so it's really cool you have lots of different modes and it just finishes the look of the car now like I said you have different form factors of these you can get different uh, engravements or no engravement at all you got tons of options with this. Now, if you want one for, your, for yourself, you can go to the links in the description down below. You'll find a link to my web shop where you can either contact me to send me the ideas you have for your uh, with blocker, or you can just go to the product page and choose from some default uh, like engravings and sizes. But that's all I got time for this week, guys. But before I end, I want to thank ev each and every one of you who have been watching the videos, who have been so supportive of my web shop and have supported the channel by buying my MX5 accessories even though you maybe just want to use them but thank you all so much it really helps me out and yeah, it makes me even more driven to make more videos again but that's all i got time for hope you all enjoyed it thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye, -bye.